Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, boys and girls of the school, teachers and teachers' aides, and all parishioners at St. Joseph Parish in East York. Today we're going to be talking about the Christmas tree. What is this Christmas tree? Why do we have a live plant for some of us? Sometimes they're plastic. Why do they live in our house for about a month? Well, here's why. It has a Christian meaning with pre-Christian roots. That means Christianity has a symbol for it, but it existed before Christianity as well. So let's go all the way back in time before Christ was on earth. There was this pagan holiday, a holiday of religions that do not believe in Christ. This holiday was called Yule. The Yule was a winter solstice celebration done in the Nordic countries. And these, this religion encouraged people to bring a tree from outside and place it in their home to symbolize life, because green and trees symbolize life, and also strength, strength to make it through the winter. So these, again, were believers in a foreign god, but they used it as a symbol. Now, whenever the church was growing and spreading throughout Europe, the church didn't come in and say, bad, 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 you're worshiping God wrong. No, what they did was they said, how about we do this instead? Instead of having the tree represent strength and power of a foreign god, we simply gave it a reason to worship Jesus. So we say we put a star at the top of most of our trees, although this one does not have one in the office. We have different ornaments that resemble Christ and God and the Nativity, which we see over here as well, and also many ornaments that are made by our family members. So the church in history, it adapted a pagan style of worship, and they told the, the people of that time in the Nordic countries, they said, don't worship the foreign God, worship the one true God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the coming of Jesus Christ, and apply that meaning to your current worship, your current symbols. So it's a beautiful way of evangelization that the church used throughout history to sort of turn the heads of people and not say, don't do this, bad, 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 but instead say, let's do this as opposed to what you were doing before.